What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie. Ich bin in Deutschland. I'm in Germany. Check this out. Look at this right here. We have some of the biggest tuning companies in the world right here today. I've flown into Germany just to check out what is about to happen. You see all of these cars here? 10 cars go head to head in a race. Who is going to have the fastest speed at the three kilometer mark? Now, the interesting thing is these are all already fast cars. They're either sports cars or supercars. I mean, we've even got an MC12 Corsa. Before we get into too much detail, massive thanks to Continental who has brought me out here today because all of these cars run on Continental tires. They are tires that you can literally just go down the road to your Continental dealer and buy them. They're not specially made racing tires. This is all to push the limits of what a street car can achieve. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do it now. Here are the rules guys, right? All of these cars, they need to be street legal. Even this MC12 Corsa has now been converted into a street legal car. actually an old racing tire from the 30s this is what they used to race with and then you look at this this is the kind of research and development they've done on tires for the last 80 years launched just a couple of years ago from continental this is the sport contact six and i just wanted to invite denise over actually because she's from research and development at continental come on over Hi. what's up so you're from research and development yes tires correct exciting it's super exciting. <laughs> much, much more than black and round. There's so much in the tire. Yeah, see, this is the thing I was yeah. saying. Like, tires are black and round. Um, how much more can you say about them? But actually, you look at how far they've come in 80 years. Yeah. You guys have done crazy improvements. How do you think tires are going to look from 80 years and now? I'm quite certain they are still black and round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. But I mean, are we going to be looking at tires like double this size? Is that kind of what's going to happen? So you might do a bit on the size, but yeah. you still need to fit them in the wheelhouse, right? Yeah. So, and it will have a certain limit. Yeah. It's not always the bigger the better. Right. Because it also gets heavier. There is <laughs> still a development on alternative materials and yeah. other designs of tires. Are we looking at super different materials? They will be similar to some extent, but we get other sources, for instance. You know that we get natural rubber out of dandelion? Out of what? Dandelions. Oh, the, the flower? Yeah, the flowers. What? Really? You, yes, you can get it out of the roofs. And the great thing is it's growing here, right? You don't have to go to the subtropical oh. area. Oh. And you can get similar materials out of more sustainable resources. But tires 80 years from now are going to be made out of flowers. <laughs> so they're aiming for speeds of like 360. Let's see what they can do. I'm going to keep showing you around some of the top ones here. Okay, this is a converted Turbo S. This is by TechArt. They do interiors as well as engine tuning. This whole hood here, custom made in collage carbon fiber. Custom exhaust here. That adds to the horsepower. I just want to show you the interior. This is all their own leather. And also this is merino wool. Now they think today they're going to be able to get to 350. It's capped for the road at 340, but it's not capped here today. 350 is the aim, but they don't know if they can get to 350 in three kilometers. Let's see. We can manually move the wing here. And also they've put a lift in. One of ten. That's what we're sitting in right now. This is number two. Oh, damn. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Go. Damn. Holy. Whoa. These guys are good at what they do. <laughs> that was fast. Holy shitballs. 
this here, GT2 RS, this is the second most powerful car here out of the 10. Only the R8 has more horsepower than this. So all they've done, these guys at 9FF, they have uh, swapped out the turbos and they have changed the exhaust. And from those two things, it's gone up by 200 horsepower. They think they can get to 360 kilometers an hour within the three kilometer mark. They are one of the likely winners. Keep an eye on this. We just opened the exhaust here. First time I'm driving a GT2 RS Beeps. This day is pretty damn cool. I've driven cars today that I've never driven before. And that's pretty special. take a look at the R8 now. Right, this is the car with the most horsepower out of the 10. This is Stefan, everyone. Hi. And his company is Klassen Motors, and these guys are the ones who tuned this Audi R8. Generally, an Audi R8 has the same engine as a Lamborghini Huracan, so just over 600 horsepower, around 610. They've actually upped that to over a thousand, which is crazy. This car does not come with any turbos. It's a naturally aspirated V10. So what they've done is they've added two turbos here. So you can actually see it through here. What else have you done? Just take me through a couple of the other steps. It's a bolt-on turbo kit, uh, so the engine internals, they are still completely standard. The transmission is standard, we just uh, changed the uh, dual clutch to, to a Dotson Promax one, because uh, that's the weakest part on the on the whole drivetrain. Then we have a charge cooling system with a big radiator in front, and the really magic thing on the charge cooling system, we connected it to the air conditioning. Ah. So we have an extra air conditioning uh, circuit in front in the, in the trunk, where we can cool down the water when it, when the car is standing on idle, we can cool it down to 10 degrees Celsius. That's mad. How um, much does it cost to upgrade your standard R8 to what you've got here? Turbo conversion with uh, turbo approval for Germany is 59,000 euros. Yep. And we have another 16,000 euros for the clutch installed. This is a sleeper. It's a sleeper. People have no idea what has actually been done to it because you can't see any majorly upgraded like body kits or anything on the outside so at the lights you take everyone right right bam that's where it's at so you're getting full power full power a thousand and fifty horsepower there's a little switch here where you can actually pull it down to 850 if you want no this, no. no stupid what was I thinking? Jesus, holy moly. Yep, I can confirm. It is fast. From about third gear, it's just like, holy shit, it surprises you. At first you're like, yeah, it's an R8, it's cool. Holy shit, it's not an R8. Oh my God, help. That is, <laughs> that is an R8 on steroids. My God, my hurricane does not feel like that. That is major, people, major. This is a major contender. Wow, this makes me happy, this one. All right, see you later. BMW M5 competition. This one is done by AC Schnitzer. They have done the body kit, all of this, the front splitter here. You've got the AC Schnitzer exhaust and the rear diffuser here. These little touches here, the wing here and up here from AC Schnitzer. The side skirts. And in here, they've changed out the pedals, AC Schnitzer pedals, and these little paddle shifts. Oh, they're cool. Look how thin they are. It's quite sporty. In terms of engine, they have chip tuned it. It did have 620 horsepower, the standard M5 competition. They've upped that now to 720 horsepower. So that's like a McLaren 720S. That's how much horsepower this M5 has. It's kind of modest, this one, isn't it? 
it's not got a massive wing on the back or massive rear diffuser so you wouldn't really know straight away that it has over 700 horsepower Hello, yeah, yeah, but hello. Look, it doesn't feel as fast as a McLaren 720S because I think one of the reasons is it's still a sedan, right? It's not a very lightweight, low to the ground, two seater supercar. It's still a sedan. You can have your family in the back, but it's got over 700 horsepower, so you can feel that. actually zero to a hundred in around three seconds so this is a fast car Brabus E63S that's what it was originally and Brabus has pulled the horsepower up to 800 it was originally 612 horsepower of course Brabus isn't just known for what they can do with engines it's also about how cool the exterior and the interior look awesome Brabus forge rooms here if you take a look inside, their interiors are just as cool as the exteriors. All of this stitching here, they've got the red leather behind the black. You've got the grey piping, you've got the Brabus here that's lit up on the side. And you've got these paddle shifts. There's lots and lots and lots that they do, which I really like. I love all of this little labelling here as well. Brabus here and also stitched on the headrest. And then they of course have the front spoiler here and they swap out all the Mercedes badges to their own Brabus badges. Brabus has managed to cancel the top speed that is limited on Mercedes to 300 kilometers an hour and they're hoping tomorrow at the three kilometer mark to make it to 325 or more. Let's take it for a spin. Yep. turbos at the end didn't you it's like oh man that was difficult oh. at the beginning it has a little bit of a lag you're like yeah oh. whoever gave them a three out of ten absolute numpty ten out of ten that just means it's car number three out of ten I've never seen anything like it. This is so cool. If you take a car and drive it in that lane at the top there, at 250 kilometers an hour, you no longer feel like you're on a slope, like you're not leaning like this anymore. You can drive as fast as your car and tires allow you here. So, you, I, mean, I mean, you could be going 400 kilometers an hour on this slope here. That is insane. <laughs> I can't do that to shoes. All right, show us what they can do. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes! You're almost there, you're almost there. You can do it. You can do it! <laughs> I can't do it! It's too steep. I have to bring an ambulance. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video. This is a nice little surprise at the end. I didn't know that they had this on the truck. Please give us a quick thumbs up on the video. We've never done anything like this before on the channel, so I really, really hope that you like it. Leave us a comment and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining the Supercar Blondie family. I love you guys. Wherever you're watching, I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. Massive thank you to Continental Tires for bringing me over here. One of the best events of the year. I've had so much fun. Thank you guys. See you soon.